A sickening act of brutality, the U.S. response to the apparent beheading of Stephen Sotloff by militant extremists who call themselves the Islamic State. The American journalist vanished in Syria one year ago. The latest video comes just two weeks after the videotaped beheading of James Foley, another American journalist kidnapped in Syria. The U.S. said intelligence analysts will work quickly to determine if the video is authentic. Our thoughts and prayers, first and foremost, are with Mr. Th Sotloff and Mr. Sotloff's family and those who uh, worked with him. Uh, the United States, as you know, has dedicated significant time and resources to trying uh, and uh, rescue Mr. Sotloff. Outside the home of Sotloff's parents in Florida, police vehicles blocked the driveway. A family spokesperson says the family has seen the video and is grieving privately. I ask you to please release my child. Last week, Sotloff's mother, Shirley Sotloff, pleaded with his captors for mercy, calling her son an innocent journalist. In the latest video, the group calls Sotloff's death retribution for continued U.S. airstrikes in Iraq, and they threaten to kill another hostage, this one identified as a British citizen. Salima Said, Associated Press.